So this is literally maybe 500 feet from where I'm from my trailer. And I understand they got the best breakfast in town. Or we're going to see. We're going to find out. And we got a nice mushroom omelet, toast, and coffee. And I've already taken a bite, it's good. And here we go at the campsite, and Dottie made a couple of friends, kind of tentatively. A lot of sniffing going on. I was recently reminded to have Dottie in more of my videos. I mean, it is travels with Dottie. Those of you wondering about George, he still hates traveling, but he's okay. And here we have the outside of the OK Corral, the Flies Photography Gallery, where Doc Holliday stayed. It's definitely a replica, it's not an original building. Here's a little thing, if you want to freeze, you can read that. It's certainly on the site of the original flies. And this is called the Wyatt Earp House, but there's a lot of controversy around it. It's privately owned, um, and there are people that say, hey, this was built long after he was gone from Tombstone. So who knows? You can freeze and read that. At any rate, it's pretty interesting. This is, I was walking to Boot Hill and ran across this, and it's private property. There are no signs on it. It's not a tourist thing. And I was looking at it, and it looks pretty damn old. Maybe not 1881 old, but it looks damn old. And I have no idea what it was, who owns it. It's just interesting. And here's, somebody told me this is the most photographed car ever. I don't know why, but I photographed it anyway. It's right next to the Boot Hill Cemetery. And here we are in Boot Hill. This is the first set of graves, the Clantons that died at the famous gunfight at OK Corral. And then you have the famous no less, no more gravesite. And then this is Fred White, Marshal Fred White, who was shot by Curly Bill by accident. Um, you might remember that from the Tombstone movie. And here's an overview of the whole cemetery. And then I had to do another look on the way out because I noticed there was a driver in the car. And there he is. Again, can't figure out why it's photographed so much, but I did my duty. So in the main drag, we have a stage coach coming in. And it looks like the Earth Boys are out there looking for trouble, I think. So they're pretty close to the OK Corral. One of those guys looks like Doc Holliday to me. And the other one has the look of Earps. was the Oriental, or actually, this is the Oriental um, uh, replica building, but it's where, where it stood, and that's where Wyatt Earp had his um, pharaoh game. Oriental Saloon. And this is where Fred White, the guy in the cemetery, was shot by Curly Bill by accident. Right on that spot. It was kind of fascinating to me just to look at the dirt there. And this is um, at the OK Corral, a little display they have. Um, this is a 
recreation of a brothel. And then this is the actual spot in the alley where it happened, and they have figures um, in they're given posi positions right when the gunfight started. So um, we're going to see a reenactment, a show, which is kind of in a little theater off to the side. But this is the actual spot. It happened here on this dirt. It's pretty amazing to me to be standing in this, such a notorious spot. This is the, the stage, and I wanted to take a minute here and talk about how I first heard about the gunfighter at OK Corral. It's not what you'd think. It was on Star Trek, the original series. There was an episode where some alien put um, Spock and McCoy and Kirk in the shoes of um, the Earps and made them go through the gunfight at the OK Corral. And I remember I kind of got curious, and I looked it up, and that's how I learned. For a gunfight! No! That's a little better. A couple of things before we get started, folks. First things first. Please, at no point during or after the presentation, try to handle our weapons. They are real, and they are dangerous. Now with all the safety talk out of the way, <laughs> who's got a cell phone with them today? Raise your hand. Throw it up in the air for me, ma'am. Go ahead. <laughs> Put those things on quiet. Chuck them over the wall. They make a lot of noise and they bother people. <laughs> who's got some small children with them today? Raise your hand. Anyone? Anyone want to throw them up in the air? Go ahead. <laughs> No, if they get to talking, fussing, cussing, or crying, you can take them outside, sit at the bench. You'll see the show in its entirety. Won't bother the people around you. Now, the last thing we need to discuss before we get started, folks, is this is an audience participation show. And what that means is, every time you see the good guys, they're dapper gentlemen, they're dressed like myself, <laughs> We want you to cheer for us every single time we enter or exit the stage. Now, on the other hand, when you see the bad guys, they look like dirty, smelly cowboys. We want you to boo them every time they enter or exit the stage. Simple enough, right? That was convincing. Let's give this a try, folks, all together. Good guys! Yay! begin in about 45 minutes. Relax, enjoy the win. Respectable business treating you. It's a place to be, Doc. You practically just plucked the money right off the trees. Now you said that same thing about Dodge City, Wyatt. It's different this time, Doc. Uh, I'm through risking my neck. I'm strictly on the up and up. That is until this election is over. Isn't that right? So you've heard of my intention. Oh, I can already picture it. Wyatt Earp, County Sheriff. You have not changed at all. Now, there's something I need to talk to you about, Doc. Go on. It's Frank McLaren. He's on the warpath, and this time he's gunning for you. He's got it in his head that you've been running your mouth about turning his friends in for that Benson stage holdup. Well, so what if I had? Frank McLaren is a no good, yellow bellied snake in the grass. Rolling over on his friends like that for what? 
some blood money from Wells Fargo? I made that deal with Frank, Doc. He'd get the reward money, and I'd get all the glory. That deal would have come in handy come election time. Does that make me a snake in the grass? No, Wyatt. You wear a badge and carry a gun. That makes you a politician. <laughs> Frank has no such excuse. You see a man who would sell out his own friends like that, he's got no business living. I just ask you mind your own business where this is concerned, Doc. Well, if Frank comes my way, he comes my business, Wyatt. And you and I both know I handle my business the proper way. Doc, understand, we're doing well here. Lori Emil, it's a gold mine. Virgil, he's town marshal. And I'm well on my way to being county sheriff next year. You don't need anybody interfering with that. Very well, Wyatt. I will not be the one to upset your little plans. No, I ask, Doc. Now, enough of this talk. It's high time you showed me to your best bottle of whiskey. My pleasure. Tell me, Doc. You still drinking all over home? Oh, you know me too well, Wyatt. I hope you got enough this time. I got two full bottles for you, Doc. Two bottles. Wyatt, I'm an alcoholic, not a child. Cowboys looking for a fight? Now you've got it. Lock your hands, boys. We're here for your kids. Oh, that's not what I Boy. want. No. Gunfight, Virgil Earp was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace Saloon. Here I am inside the Birdcage Theater. Um, you're from, it's the stage, and you might recognize this from the movie. One of the really strange things is I paid my admission and I went in here and I was alone the entire time. It was very quiet and kind of creepy. So, uh, there's so much to see here. Uh, there's a lot of little things, but, you know, if you stop at every single one of them the, for this, it'll get kind of boring. But right there is the Pharaoh table that um, Doc Holliday actually played at. I mean, they've got plexiglass over it and everything, but think about it. Doc Holliday played on that table. What, this is kind of the backstage area. And again, it was kind of creepy because I was alone and it was so quiet. I, I really, the last thing I expected was this place to be deserted. And that's actually a uh, hearse carriage that was used many, many, many times in Tombstone. There's a lot of violence in those in the eight, early 1880s, um, in addition to the gunfighter at OK Corral. Just kind of trying to check every little corner and everything here. And then downstairs is where the 24 hour a day poker game was played. And a lot of famous people came down here and played poker down here at these tables. And 
eventually I'm going to get the camera around to it so you can see it here. There are the tables. There's two of them. And when I got down here, there was a cowboy down here. So I was a little startled to see somebody. Hopefully he wasn't a ghost and he was a real person I didn't ask. Um, the original, I, I'm told that was the original bar down here. And that's kind of a, I don't know, there's all kinds of old stuff in there. Um, a lot of junk. I'm just going to probably put this on a big screen and look a little more closely to see what I could see in that pile of junk. Definitely old. That's looking back towards the theater. And I'm taking another look at the, the tables again. And here in a minute, there's two kind of bedrooms that were used by prostitutes that um, you can, the doors are locked. You can look in kind of a window, but you can't go in there. And I understand that all the furniture and everything is uh, authentic. So as soon as I finish showing you that sign, I think um, I'm about to turn around and show those rooms. That's a nice looking fella, isn't it? I guess I'm a little obsessed with the poker tables. I just think it's so cool. And I think I mentioned this is an original building. This is one of the few buildings in town that survived all those fires. So this is the real deal. So um, this is, you can look, can't go in. So I kind of decided to stick my phone in there. And it's pretty dark. There weren't any lights. And there's another room that I think is a little bit lighter in here. So I stuck my phone in there too. See what I can see. That's some pictures of some of the famous players. And I think this is a, another original building. It's the Cochise County Courthouse. Um, it's a museum. It, it was a little... I was tired of shelling out money to go in places, so I didn't go in there. And this is a little um, place that I saw walking back to, to the trailer, a uh, building built in 1881. And uh, they said it was kind of a, a Chinese neighborhood in Tombstone. And this little stretch was it. You know, it's real windy and blustery. I don't know how much of the wind you can hear, but it kind of adds, it, it's a positive thing for the atmosphere here. Um, walking around Tombstone on a blustery fall day, it seems appropriate. 